Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is a super exciting collab with my beautiful friend and sister Erica. That's Erica Conga over here on YouTube. If you don't know who she is, then you really should. I will link both her channel and video in the description box below. Please go show her some love. So we decided um, to start a collab series using just palettes that aren't necessarily brand new, but ones we've got in common anyways. Um, so we decided to start off with, this is a newer palette, um, it's from Makeup by Lisa and it's Raven's Castle. Uh, both of us love Makeup by Lisa. This is the colour story. Um, so yeah, we thought that would be good. And seeing as Erica is just so wonderful at coming up with kind of subjects to talk about, I asked her to do that that part um but she came up with this list of 10 questions um and it's kind of all about where are we now like with our channel um for erica it's coming up like her first year her channel turns one soon and then mine turns two soon so the question she came up with i thought was so good that we should really do it as a tag video um and I would love to hear other creators' answers to these questions. So I've primed my eyes with the ABHI primer and I'm just gonna get started and we'll make a start on the questions. So how do I want to do this? Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Raven first. And let me do this so I can actually see where I'm at. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, so question one is, do you still feel the same way about having your channel as you did when it started? Um, the answer to that is is really yes. Um, I have spoken about this before, um, but when I started my channel, I was in quite a, a dark place emotionally and yeah, I was furloughed from work, so I was stuck at home, it was the first lockdown, and luckily for me, Debbie of Vinyl Beauty gave me a really good kick up the backside to start my channel, and starting my channel kind of changed everything for me, and I saw it as kind of a lifeline and I still see it the same way. Um, it really saved my life. And I know that sounds dramatic, but I, I was on a downhill spiral with everything going on. And then um, just over a year ago, I was taken into a hospital uh, with suspected heart attack. Um, turned out to be costochondritis, which still isn't very nice. And then from there, my central nervous system kind of um, malfunctioned. And I was diagnosed, I've got something on my eyelash there. I was diagnosed with um, complex regional pain syndrome, um, which is a condition that I, I could likely have for the rest of my life. So. I'm always in pain and doing my makeup, especially colourful, is my therapy and then my channel just opened me up to a whole new world of like indie brands and amazing people. I have made some of the most amazing friends through YouTube and family. Um, Erica. I consider my sister, um, my daughter calls her Auntie Erica, and same the other way around, I'm Auntie Steph, all the way in the UK, and um, I think Erica came along just at a time when I kind of just needed some extra um, it was before my best friend moved over to the side because she did 
originally live on the Isle of Wight, which is where I'm from. And I, I was just alone. I felt alone. I felt lonely. Um, I've always been a very social person. So with the mixture of the lockdown and then my condition, which means that I can't, I can't do much for myself. I've lost my independence a lot. So having my channel has just been a blessing. And yeah, that was a kind of long way of, a very long way of saying yes, really. Um, I'm just gonna dip into White Witch, um, just with the same brush, just to go over the edges and kind of brighten it up, up higher. So yes, that was my answer, my very, very long-winded answer to question one. Uh, question two, if you could do anything differently when you started, what would it be? Honestly, I wouldn't have wanted to do anything different because the way things happened have kind of, that's why, uh, everything happens for a reason. And I think that my channel wouldn't be what it is today if I hadn't done things the way I did. I don't know, I'm quite a believer in, you know, there's no point in having past regrets. Just They're just building blocks that make you stronger as a person, they shape you. Um, so yeah, no, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd do anything differently. Okay, so. I am now going to go in with Grot Bags. Oh my god, if any of you remember the programme with Grot Bags, let me know. If you know, you know. Um, so yes, question three. How has your filming schedule changed since you started, or has it stayed the same? Now, my schedule has changed quite dramatically, really. And when I first started my channel, I religiously posted twice a week on the same days. Um, I was quite, um, I had quite the routine going. Um, but then obviously life <laughs> happened and I can't always film as much as I would like to. Um, so yeah, we it's very, very different. I don't have set days or set videos apart from Karma Comedian. Um, so yeah, it's, it's changed rather a lot. I'm going to do this on the inside also because I want to do a halo eye. I don't do them enough and I love them. I'm not the best at them, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, no, it hasn't really changed. Hasn't really changed? So yes, it's changed completely. It hasn't stayed the same. Um, so let's move on. Question four, what surprised you the most about having a YouTube channel? Um, the thing that surprised me the most was that people actually wanted to watch me. Um, I didn't think anyone would want to watch my videos and there were people that did and I was just like seriously wow because up until um, I started my channel it's not that I um, didn't think that youtubers were real people it's just that I thought they had something I didn't and yeah I just didn't think I expected a lot of like negativity. I have no idea why, but I I do suffer anxiety quite extreme, so it's probably played a huge part in that. Um, yeah, that's what surprised me the most. Okay, so now on to question five. What do you love the most and what do you like the least about having a channel? What do I love the most? Um, mostly it's just, it's the community. It's being part of this like-minded community and everyone is so supportive of each other. Um, 
I love the opportunity to try different brands, discovering new indie brands, having a lot more makeup than say I would have had if I didn't have a channel. Um, I love that. I love that I kind of reach people. I know that I'm this tiny little creator and you know I don't ever expect to be big it's more about like the subscribers I have I I love I love the the community and yeah I don't think I'd hmm yeah I think that's probably the most people and the brands and getting to know the brand owners I love all of that and what do I like the least um the thing I like the least is when you get the negative people and I don't mean like constructive criticism I, I mean just nasty um that I would say is probably my only dislike because you know, I absolutely love having my channel. If you hear a lot of background noise, I'm downstairs again, as you've probably seen by the background. Um, all of my filming equipment was still down here from the weekend, so I figured I'd just stay down here for now. Um, had a bit of a rough night with the pain, so I <laughs> don't particularly want to keep tackling the stairs. I'm going to go back into Raven and just blend out the edges of the black with that. So we're on a new, new question. So this is question six. Are you able to come up with video ideas easily or is that a challenge aspect, challenging aspect? Um, yeah, I don't think I have so much of an issue coming up with video ideas. What's more challenging for me is um, like actually being able to film um, because obviously some days I'm in way too much pain to film. Um, the challenging aspect for me is <laughs> narrowing down what it is that I can film rather than what I want to. Um, but yeah, there's been times when I've been a bit lost as to what to do because I feel like I do a lot of the same kind of videos. But yeah, blend this black up a little bit higher into that shape. Yeah, I think that's about it for that answer, isn't it? <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I don't necessarily have trouble or find it challenging coming up with video ideas, but I do find it challenging being able to film all of the videos that I want to. I'm just going to quickly pop some NYX Glitter Primer on the centre of my eyes and then we'll continue. Okay, so I'm going to start with spells and pop that on the kind of outer parts of it there. Where are we up to? Question seven. How do you think you've grown as a creator during your time thus far on YouTube? Um, well, I've definitely grown in the skills aspect. Um, I feel that I've I suppose partly with like obviously more practice and just trying different styles so I think my skill set has grown but also I think I've grown in confidence quite a lot through having my channel see so yeah, I think I've grown both um, creatively and just as a person and 
you know, I'm forever grateful to well, Debbie for giving me the kick up the arse to start my channel um, and to all of you guys for just allowing me to just be me and yeah without getting too emotional um so yeah i think it's had quite quite an impact on different areas of growth personal and in makeup wise can go back in with a bit of grot bags, the black, and just uh, mash these together a bit better. This is a really nice black to work with. You can really build up opacity, but it's also so blendable. So Jace is playing in the background. <laughs> He's having a, oh, for those of you who don't know, Jace is my pup. Um, he's having a funny five. The afternoon zoomies. The afternoon zoomies. Okay, so Mr. Fluff's now downstairs. Um, Mr. Fluff is the cat, and Jace desperately wants to play with him, so you may hear meowing and etc. <laughs> okay, so on to question eight. So far, what is the video that you've created that you're most proud of and which one do you wish didn't exist? Um, firstly, I'll go with the wish, what I wish didn't exist. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with gods. And that's none of them. As much as some of them make me cringe, like watching them, um, they all, helped me grow as a creator it's experience that without doing them i wouldn't have had and um, nothing ever starts off perfect not that everything even gets perfect <laughs> what is perfect anyways um crikey this one's overtaking love it um so yeah there's not any that i wish didn't exist at all although I might find them cringy and I don't want to watch them and but video that I'm most proud of it has to be a series um, that I do and that's Karma Chameleon and I am so proud of Karma Chameleon um, just because it's brought together just some amazingly wonderful people brought them into my lives into each other's it's it's that catch up that you all need um and you haven't got to go anywhere and everyone there has something in common we all love makeup and i'm just gonna dip into raven just with the brush i used for the black just to so I can tie this in a little bit better yeah um and yeah i love when i first started it i started it because i was feeling lonely low etc um and i thought that maybe other people would be feeling the same so yeah that was kind of how it started but then i never expected for it to really take hold how it did um so yeah i do have to say that is the video or video series that i am most proud of and the one that i will always make sure that i can do unless i'm super ill like not so long ago with covid and then norovirus um but yeah back in with the black a little bit um so yeah i would definitely say that is what I'm most proud of. This has kind of gone off on a tangent, this look, but I am not complaining. I'm just going to go back in with the white just a little bit, just to brighten some of the areas. Um, 
yeah we've got two questions left so question nine do you think about long-term goals for your channel or are you more focused on the here and now um kind of a mixture really um mostly i focus on the here and now um but i do obviously have some goals for my channel like i would like to reach more people and it's not the be on end all but yeah I'd, I'd like to reach more people than i do especially for say karma chameleon um but yeah mostly i focus on what i can do now um maybe things that i can put in into motion for the future now um the trouble is with my health condition it's very difficult to plan long term because i don't know what position i'm going to be in health wise okay so i think i'm going to use my finger and go into hunter's moon and just pop that up the center there like dab up the center and question 10 if you could sit down with your pre-youtube self what advice would you give her in regards to your youtube journey a year plus later so it's nearly two years later um don't worry about the haters don't worry about what other people think um there are going to be people that like you and people that don't like you and that's okay no you don't like everyone like everyone's not going to like you no it's not realistic to think otherwise really um yeah and i would say it's you know don't be so nervous about it the usual kind of things really i think oh i love that and jace is starting to calm down a bit maybe or have i spoken too soon there bless um any other advice i would have given early me early me so yeah i think early advice would have just been just go for it just be you don't worry about what anyone else says what anyone else thinks um let's grab a little brush so i'm going to take oh do i go silver or white no i'm gonna go white so for my inner corner and brow bone highlight i'm gonna pop into evil which is that white shimmer um not the white matte stuff the white shimmer good start good start start finish whatever um so yeah i don't think there's particularly anything else because I wouldn't want to change the course of how things went because I think the reason things are as they are now is because of how how they went. Um, but yeah, definitely not to worry about others' opinions and the haters because you're always going to get haters. Um, and the trick is not to let them get to you. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of that. Okay. And when I say a little bit, I clearly mean a lot. But then there's nothing new there. Okay. So I think I think I've answered all of the questions. Um, if you have a channel of your own, um, social media, I would love to. Hear your answers to these questions um and if you don't there's the comment section below if you feel like answering them who knows maybe you don't have a youtube channel but you have instagram it could apply so yes um i'm gonna nip off and finish my face and then i will come back to show you the finished look so if you would like to see that then don't go anywhere okay guys so i'm back with the finished look let me know what you think in the comment section below i have been dying to play with the raven's castle palette 
and this was the perfect excuse um i love this i believe it's the first time for erica playing with this palette so i cannot wait to see her look and i cannot wait to hear her answers to these questions i think she did a great job choosing these questions i really enjoyed answering them and i would love to hear those of you either with youtube channels with instagram i'd love to hear your answers to these questions i will pop the questions in the in the description box below but if you do want to want to do that um i would love like i said to hear your answers um oh erica thank you so much for collabing with me this series is super exciting bringing back some older palettes answering some questions um you can pretty much guarantee that erica is going to be thinking of most of the questions because she's really good at that and i'm really not um but yes i am super excited for more of these videos let me know if you guys are too if you don't know who erica is um i would be highly surprised if you don't but if you don't her channel and video will be linked in the description box below i just i love watching erica's videos she does some really beautiful makeup looks she always has interesting things to talk about she tells the best stories um i love her so much and i am just honored to be able to collab with her um so guys if you're not subscribed to Erica, go do that now. Um, if you've liked this video, then please give it a like. If you are new or over from Erica's channel, hi, welcome. I'm a lover of colorful makeup and I love to support indie brands. Um, yeah, so if all of that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, please do subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you become part of my chameleon family um if you know you know um so thank you so much for watching i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye